We had uh, 160 pounds in there last night, so it's lost about 30 pounds, 29, 28 pounds overnight. This is that one with all the moisture in, so start looking for a leak somewhere. tank with the leak. Been all around the valve, been all around the ice builder, didn't find anything on there. Uh, so it's got a 404 valve on the ice builder and a 22 valve on the tank so um, might have to change the valve on the ice builder. Uh, anyway, we pick some up just as we move the probe out down here. Definitely something in that area. That's where the equalising line's teed in, so. Let's leave that going. It takes a while to warm up, so I'm, I'm leaving it turned on, but we might. Looking at that, there's a problem. Shitty tanks, these are. Stain the steel pipe, and they put copper in there. Always look oily. Um, nearly everyone I, I see looks like somebody's had problems with them leaking. So it's leaking on that connection there. Absolutely pouring out. They put this, this tar stuff on there, so we've got to try and clean that off before we can braise it. Yeah, we've got some solder on there now. Um, it's a pig to do because it's stainless. Got a couple of hundred pounds of nitrogen in there. We'll see how it goes. That's better than it was. That's not saying much though. Let's see, that's lost 0.9 psi in, in 30 minutes, and it's not lost anything um, since really. I think it took a while to equalise. Um, anyway, we're going to drain the oil out of the compressor, see what that looks like. Drain that out of the compressor. About 600 mil. Probably should have like one and a half litres in there or something. That doesn't look too nice. Second back. Oh, it's looking a bit milky again. Got water in there. We'll, we'll see the condensation above the uh, oil. So give that another drain on the back, and then we'll be back. Going to pipe in that big dryer. That'll be a job for tomorrow. Main to the compressor oil, that clear bit in there is actually water.
also the copper filings that's come out of the uh, compressor oil.